All right, y'all, fasten your seatbelts and prepare yourselves because we are about to get into some very juicy Bitcoin technical analysis. And make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, guys, because things are about to get pretty dang juicy. And Bitcoin, as we were yesterday, we are finding ourselves in a very precarious and volatile situation. Let me give you the long and short of it. Bitcoin has broken out of this range that we have been trading in for a very long time. And the context of this range is that on the daily time frame, on the weekly time frame, we were getting some very, very bullish signals here. We were getting bullish divergences as we were building up in this range. In addition, if we take a look at an order flow chart, we can see that if we go to a higher term time frame, such as the daily time frame, we can see that as the price was basically ranging here, we were getting extremely bullish CBD divergences, as well as large amounts of positions opening up. This is telling me that there's very likely going to be a breakout, and that's exactly what we did have here. Now, we have come up to a very key area of resistance, the golden pocket from the high that we put in on September the 13th, right here at 22 to uh, 800, give or take, to the low. Okay, so what we're going to do to get that level is we're going to pull a Fibonacci retracement tool from the high on September 13th to the low that we put in on, uh, I guess this was uh, October 13th, so exactly one month. And we can see that we have come up to this level now. We came up to this level with some pretty bearish signs. In fact, I did give the short setup live in the VIP live stream last Wednesday, the first time we tapped into that 618. And then again, we gave the setup over here when we got our first rejection and then we were looking for basically to come up a little bit higher with more bearish divergences. So both of those trades our uh, setups were given in advance in the VIP Discord. So I currently do hold a few short positions on Bitcoin right now. Uh, so <clears throat> it's very, very important that we understand that when we came up for that second high, we got bearish divergence on the four hour time frame. Now, this gives me a lot of caution when it comes to looking for higher prices before a deeper retracement. Now, why is that? It's because if we look historically at what happens when we get four-hour bearish divergences, it leads to a very large move to the downside. We got four-hour bearish divergences up here. Where else did we get four-hour bearish divergences? It happens very rarely, and when it does happen, it's very intense. I actually don't know the last time we had four-hour bearish divs before September 13th, except for up here. We had four-hour bearish divergences, very large move to the downside. And uh, where else did we get that? We did have a little bearish div right up here as well on the four hour. They're very, very rare signals. And when we get them, it tends to give us a pretty large move to the downside. So we've had four hour bearish divergence right here. So what does that mean for Bitcoin? Well, if we're looking for potential swing trades or even longer term day trades where we're holding positions for a few days, there are a few very important areas of support that we need to be aware of. And that first very important area is the green box between 20,200 and 20,400. This is the first major area of support and the reason is because this is the local golden pocket retracement along with the value area low of this little range that we have been trading for the past few days. Okay, this is the first area of support. If we we're going to bounce, this is where we should be looking. The only problem is the four hour looks like it still has more downside, but the one hour time frame, we can see that we are getting some potential bullish divergences here. This is the first area where we need to look for a bounce. If we do not hold this as our support, then we can look down to the $19,800 to $20,000 level because that is going to be the low of what could be here a large bull flag for another move to the upside. Now, here is the bad news if you are a Bitcoin bull. If we are unable to hold above this $20,000 level, then it's very probable that we will get a move back down to the low of the range, which is sub 18K, right? So if we are not able to hold 20K, that's a very, very important level then I think we will probably come down to take out this low that we put in at 18 thousand dollars 
So it's very, very important if we want to see more upside that we hold these two levels, the first one being 19.8 to 20K and the second one being 20,200 to 20,400. And as you can see, we currently are getting a bounce from that level with some potential bullish divergences, okay? So there might still be some hope here. Now, if we can get another bounce and if we can reclaim this 618 level from the high on September 13th to the low on October 13th, then I will be looking for a move to the upside right here. The high is around $25,000 or potentially higher. Now, the 618 Fibonacci level has rejected us all big time before. For example, the last time that we smacked up into that 618 level, it was right here, okay? Right before this big move down, we smacked up into the golden pocket with four hour bearish divergence, huge move down. Again, we are smacking up into a golden pocket with four hour bearish divergences, just a word of caution, okay? Now, the 618, the 6 Juanita, again, it reminds me of the time I tried to ask out that girl, that foreign exchange student named Six Juanita. She was a beautiful woman. She had gorgeous nostrils and I really liked her hair follicles. I thought she was very attractive in the hair follicle department. I asked her out on a date and she gave me the hand. She gave me the face, all right? And I was left standing there all alone, okay? I thought I was a nice guy. I tried to unbutton my shirt to show her how manly and sexy I was. It didn't work out, okay? Even shaped up my beard kind of nice, right? I couldn't really grow a full beard, so I patched in a little mascara around this to make my, my cheeks look a little bit more hairy. She wasn't feeling it, okay? Now, this could be a big move down. This may not be a big move down. It's very hard to tell right now, but what is very important is that we are prepared for the levels here because if we are prepared for the levels, we know where to look for trades. And what else is very important is that when we do take a trade, we're taking a trade with good risk management so that even if we take a loss, it's not gambling, but it's part of our trading plan so that we can be profitable over time, not risking more than one to 3% of our trading portfolio. And if we stick to those principles of waiting for our levels, waiting for good confirmations and sticking to good risk management, we can be successful even in these types of volatile markets. And if you do want to learn you can check out the course, jasoncaspertrading.com. There's a 35% discount. This course will give you the blueprint so that you can become a confident, profitable trader. Also, if you do want to join the VIP Discord, you can go to patreon.com forward slash jasoncasper. We do multiple live streams every week. We give the levels every single day. We give the potential trade setups every single day. We have a community of amazing traders. Now, there are a few other things that we need to keep our eyes on here. Number one is going to be the S&P 500. Okay, the S&P 500. Now the S&P 500 did get a pretty nice move to the upside ever since bouncing off of key support. Okay, at the 0 0.5 fib at around 3,500. If the S&P 500 is not able to break above this key resistance of 3,900, then we need to be prepared for Bitcoin getting another move down. Additionally, 4,000 is a very important level for the S&P 500. When and if we get a move up on the S&P 500 to 4,000, be watching Bitcoin. Because if Bitcoin, if the SPX is moving up, Bitcoin's probably going to be moving up as well. And we need to be aware of areas of resistance above us if the SPX is getting a rejection from key resistance because they are very much so correlated. When SPX got its first bounce, back on the end of June, that is when Bitcoin bottomed out here at this macro 786 support, okay? Which by the way, was a level that we were ready and prepared for. We had it on our chart, as can be seen right here. Literally since November, we were looking at this 786 as one of the key areas of support, a retest of the previous bull market all-time high, the technical target of this rising wedge. I know it's drawn very sloppily, but at the time we had it drawn very nicely. And uh, yeah, we've had this level on our chart, guys, for months. So when Bitcoin, when SPX bottoms out, that is a good indication that Bitcoin is also going to bottom out. Now look at this. We bounced right here, and this happened on October 13th. That is the same exact day that Bitcoin got its bottom that CDW long, that I'm pretty sure I live streamed that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I live streamed that on October 13th. And so we need to be aware of these uh, levels, okay? Something else to keep our eyes on is the dollar, guys. The dollar is very bullish right now. 
if the dollar continues to move up, we can expect uh, Bitcoin to continue to move down. But just be aware that around 112, the dollar also does have a golden pocket. And if the dollar starts to reject from the golden pocket, well, that could lead to a pump on Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin starts to get a move down here and it comes down to this key area of support around 20K, 19.8, and the dollar is finding resistance, right? Then we might have more of a reason to potentially hop into a long here. So locally, let's talk about what's happening locally here. Bitcoin did uh, find some support at our box, and then we got to move up right to VWAP and rejected right from VWAP. Actually, did make for a really juicy scalp trade <clears throat> that I took right here from the VWAP. Still have a portion of the position open here. Have taken profits obviously at the golden pocket retracement of course and we will be waiting here to see what happens but that's it for today's update guys i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did make sure to like the video make sure to subscribe to the channel and i will see everybody in the next one peace y'all